Good morning, I guess. Today is Tuesday, March 21st, and last night was not a good night. I was crying, I was stressing, I was wishing my parents were here. Uh, I had a hard time falling asleep because I kept thinking about what happened, you know, with the HOA bill and the bank screwing up and then having to call the bank and having to call the HOA once I talked to the bank and possibly calling my money guy to get more money even though I just got my monthly payment today well it's pending but still I just got it but you know possibly calling him for more money because of the big screw up <sighs> crying most of the evening wishing my parents were here and frustrated because it's one thing after another and nothing goes right as I said yesterday last night and I vented on Facebook and I said I wish my parents were here because I don't want an adult anymore I don't want them to handle it and I wish I had somebody so I can like hey you take care of this I don't want to take care of it anymore but it's just me and I don't I don't have anyone to vent to except to, on Facebook and here and it sucks it sucks being alone and not having anyone I went to bed at my normal time. I didn't go to sleep like I said. I just looked at Facebook and all that stuff. And and then um, I did go to bed around like a quarter to ten. And I did fall asleep eventually. And I woke up to use the facilities. And I looked at the clock and I thought it was like one. But it was only like. 11.45 and I'm like I only been asleep for an hour I'm like crap <laughs> and then I had a hard time falling back to sleep so I was looking at my phone watching TikTok videos and stuff and eventually I fell back to sleep and I got up around 6.30 or so because I you know, couldn't because I had to use the facilities again and I couldn't go back to sleep I tried but my head went back to thinking. And I eventually got up, took my thyroid bed, and did walked around for 15 minutes around the house. And uh, then I watched Kathy and Colleen stream, and I did some stuff at the desk. And I, but before I got up, I did check my checking account to see if my monthly payment got in and it did and it's pending along with my gas payment <laughs> so yay for that but I I'm hoping I don't have to call him and ask for money because he just you know I just got money but the bank screwed up and I'm screwed so but we'll see what happens when I call the bank I'll probably call them back Wednesday about the claim it's just not fair So, it's a rainy, cold Tuesday. It's, like, going to be, like, 57 or 56. And it rained this morning. And it, hummingbird. And then it cleared up for a little bit. Where did the hummingbird go? So. And... That's what's been going on since last night when I posted that little extra video. So I'm going to end it here because nothing else is going on and I don't want to start crying again. Try not to think about it. 
but it's hard to do when you're here all by your, in the house by yourself. There's nothing to do but think and have your mind wander. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, so see you guys later. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and I'm still a little stressed, and yesterday was bad. Not totally bad. Not as bad as Monday, <laughs> um, but I was stressed and bored and didn't know what else to do, so I went to my room around 7 and I did fall asleep around 10 and I woke up around 2 and went to go to the bathroom and could not fall back to sleep. My mind was wandering. I'm thinking about stuff and I did eventually fall back to sleep around 5 and then I totally got up around 8 and did 20 minutes walking around the house. Then, um, made my shake and had breakfast and watched Colleen and Kathy and Brooke stream jelly printing and I was debating whether to call the bank today or not or wait till Thursday because um, when I talked to them Monday they said the claim would take between 24 to 48 hours so 48 hours will be today will be Wednesday at 4 o'clock but um, I decided to call just to check the status and the claim is still processing and supposedly the guy said that they got they sent the money to my HOA management company's bank and gave me the reference number and all that, and yeah. So then I called my HOA, the HOA company, and well, I talked. It was a nicer, nicer people than I talked to <laughs> than on Monday. And Monday I was, you know, upset. And, oh, I, now I'm just stressed and upset. Well, not as upset, but I'm stressed and. Um, I talked to someone in accounting and they didn't, well, both the person that I first talked to and the person in accounting never got it. They said they didn't get it yet. It may take a few days. So, um, I can either pay the 405 for this month or the whole amount. I'll probably pay the whole amount as much as I don't want to. And um, if they ever get the money, they'll credit my account. So that'd be good. Pay $3 for the next HOA. <laughs> um, the person in county did note my account um, and told me to check back Friday to see if they got the money. I still got, you know, time to pay the thing. And he's like, you can mail it, you can pay it online, you can send it to, I mean, go to the building and give it to them. Uh, I'm tempted to do that, but it's so far away. I looked out to see how much it is on Uber and Lyft, Lyft to go there, but it, when I looked, it was like late in the afternoon, like four o'clock rush hour, so it was a little expensive. So, um, yeah. So, Friday I'll call them again to check the status, and then I'll probably call my money guy, much as I don't want to, because he's going to complain, because I just sent you money, but I'm like, it's not my fault. It's the bank's fault. And it's crazy. So, yeah. Today, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I kind of want to go out because I want to get out and de-stressed. <laughs> but, 
but I don't know where to go besides the grocery store. <laughs> That's where I always go. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go to the bank yet because I want to wait till I get my glasses. My glasses are in so I can go there because the, my bank is where the, my glasses, are, lens crafters are. So, you know, do everything right in one shot. <laughs> so, that's where I'm at today. No crying so far. Just lots of stress. I should have taken a melatonin last night, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I'll probably take one tonight and hopefully get a full night's sleep and yeah that's what's going on so i did get my um sudafed yesterday i haven't taken one um i only took one last yesterday so i was starting to feel it and that did help but i didn't take any today or i didn't take any last night Yay for that. <sighs> so. And my Timo order should be here Friday. Yay for that. And my AliExpress is in the States. Yay for that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm rambling now. So I'll end it here and see you guys later. Hi, I'm getting ready to edit the vlog with clips from uh, Tuesday morning and this morning and if I give you a little update how my day has been, which is nothing. It's, I've been home and all that, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I did take a couple of stress gummies this afternoon after my lunch and I'm feeling a little bit better if not as stressed it kind of helped I'll probably take something to help me fall asleep tonight and hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep and not think about anything so that's what's been I've been doing the last couple nights is overthinking and stressing and worrying obviously you know that <laughs> um so yeah and I didn't go out today, and if I did go out today, I was probably going to go to the grocery store, which is where I usually go to. But the price to go to Winco and Trader Joe's was a little more to my liking for going such a short distance. So maybe tomorrow, we shall see. And I looked at, uh, well, I checked my email this morning, and I got a message from PayPal saying that Remo tasks paying me and I looked at my PayPal account and like what I saw it's not a whole lot of money obviously but um, I did transfer 50 of that money into my checking account so I don't feel less guilty about using the debit card to pay for my glasses right now <laughs> so yay for that that was not as stressful anymore as what's been going on <laughs> with my HOA and my bank. But it makes me feel a little bit better about that. Um, then when I got the mail, which was, I got two magazines, I was thinking of where to get the money. Because, you know, before I was saying I have to call my financial guy, but I really don't want to because I have a feeling he's going to lecture me even though it's not my fault. <laughs> it's the bank's fault for screwing this up. Um, and because I just got money from them put in the, my checking yesterday. So yeah, and hearing me, I'm going to be asking for more money. So I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so then my next option is to transfer money from my savings account to my checking account, but I kind of don't want to do that either because I've been holding off on touching that savings account till I got all the money from the woman that's paying for my mom's car. So I got that whole, all the money from that before I do anything, but that's probably going to be my option. Well, I'm probably, I mean, what I'm probably going to do 
it's quicker and easier and I won't have to have a possible lecture, <laughs> you know? Um, then I'm thinking about bringing that payment to the management company so I know they'll get it. And um, I'm going to try and see if I can change the name on the account because the H, it's on, in my mom's name. When she passed away, I filled out paperwork to change it to my, put it in my name, but somehow I, got, I screwed up filling the thing out or something because it's still in my mom's name. And then I'll probably hope if I can do auto pay, even though I don't want to, but it would save a headache like this again, even though this was probably a rare mistake, a rare thing that happened. I don't want to risk it. So, yeah, probably do that. Um, the thing is, where the HOA, where the management company is, is a little far away for me. So it'll cost a little money to get there. Because uh, it's like kind of by the strip and kind of by the airport. Because um, I mapped it out to see where it's at and to see if anything's around there. Because I don't want to spend all that money to spend like 15 or 10 minutes or 5 minutes there to just spend money to come back home. <laughs> you know, I want to make it worth my while, but nothing's really around there. Um, well, there, there's some restaurants and stuff, but I looked, checked that out. It's a little, the price point for those restaurants are a little more for my liking, which is been the case lately for most restaurants um, that's why I haven't been going to the Sunday lunches <laughs> well I haven't been invited but that's beside the point um, so yeah but while looking at where the place is at and what's around there I see like a mile Point nine away is International Marketplace, which is a huge international grocery store with all kinds of stuff from obviously all over the world. I've been there before, I think a couple years ago. I think when my mom was still around, it had to be like three or four years ago. Maybe, I think maybe four years ago and it's a neat place I want I was thinking about going there after the um, HOA but it's like a, like I said a mile and a half mile and mile point 1.9 I'll get the <laughs> word out there and I could walk it but there's like according to the map there's like huge empty space and I don't want to risk that walking <laughs> to go there. You know, you know, you never know. So we'll see what will happen. I probably won't. I know I'll probably go before the fifteenth, <laughs> um, but we'll see. Um, or even before the first, we'll see. Um, yeah. So that's what's been going on and. That's it for right now, so I'll see you guys later.